Greetings, women. I'm Andy. And I'm George. And this is Couscous. And welcome back to the Windmill Full of Courses. You know what one should do? Mm. One should buy a Mazda MX-5 and give it that pain job. And then poke out the X and the dash and replace them with a 4 and the D. You know what I was thinking? What? I was thinking about the MD4 hash function, which is unreliable. Like you just swap it, swap the 4 and the 5 and... Yeah. Never mind. I was thinking about the MD4 cipher. Are you ready? No! <laughs> How to make good electronic music. Add some metal. Yeah. <laughs> and by I, by I, by add some metal, what I mean, if you didn't have the metal, this would have been a perfectly enjoyable, perfectly forgettable electronic song. Yeah. You added the metal, and now it's not. That's how you fix electronic music. You add metal. You add balls. You add, you add uh, a blue whale set worth of balls. I think that's like a hundred kilo scrotum or something. That's what this had. Balls. I, mm, I, I agree. I agree. You know, whales, scrotum, yada yada. Everything you said. Yes, agree. Yes. Um, the one moment that I liked the most mm -hmm. was the pace where you had two symbols, one snare, two symbols, one snare. Mm -hmm. That pace I tend to perceive as very poppy, yes, almost upbeat. Mm -hmm. But it had the really 
you know, stink face inducing riff on it, mm-hmm. which is why I like to call that per- that particular section stink pop. Stink pop, yes. When you have stinky riffs over a pop beat, you call it stink pop. Yes, it's stink pop. That's like pink pop, but pink pop, but with still instead of a pill. Yes, I think pink pop is like a festival or something. Yes, I think it is. Yeah, you're pink, by the way. Yes, I am. But there's nothing about this that's pop. No, that's like this, but with more nerd. Yes. That's how you would actually make electronic music the best. You don't just add metal, you also add nerd. Yeah. If this had a little bit more nerd, it would have been perfect. Preferably somebody with square glasses playing it. Somebody with square glasses and the blue whale scrotum. <laughs> that paints an image. <laughs> yes. It's the scrotum is bigger than the person. They're just rolling on it. My point is... The amounts of testosterone are kind of worrying. <laughs> but we're here for it. It was very good. See, this is the kind of stuff we like to hear from Atomic Heart. Yeah. Are we done here? No. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we really appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. With bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay. And we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Corpse is out.